<sighs> okay, so maybe I need more practice throwing Ender Pearls around. But before I get more practice throwing Ender Pearls around, and hopefully not falling in lava this time, uh, I realized that Zombie Flesh can't. Well, it, it could, but uh, honestly, those little green swirls that you get when you eat Zombie Flesh are getting on my nerves, so uh, I'm just gonna come in what used to be my enchanting room here and uh, make myself a little wheat farm. So uh, I'm gonna get that built and then I'll be right back. Oh, and I just wanted to add really quick that when you're working with water, 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 whatever, <laughs> you can just do this and uh, get an infinite spring. You don't always necessarily have to uh, make that uh, two by two square. And uh, when you're working on just down a line like this, you can just keep going, uh, skipping a space, and then taking back like this, and just go all the way down the line. Okay, just a quick tip. I'm going to get back to work, and I will see you when I finish making my little farm here. Okay, so don't need these torches on the ground anymore. Okay, so basic farm is set up. I have tons and tons of bone meal, and so I will not... I really won't need zombie flesh anymore, and I can I can not have to put up with those stupid, uh, stupid little green swirls all the time. Cause they were actually pretty annoying. I, I have to admit. Um, yeah. So I'm just gonna farm some bread for a bit, and then I am going to redo my equipment, and then I'm going to make another attempt at using ender pearls, and hopefully this time, I will not fall in lava like a giant dumbass. But if I do fall in lava this time, I promise to make really funny noises. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, inventory is sorted. Armor is enchanted, weapons are enchanted. Time to do this. Or I'll just watch these guys. Yeah, come up here, come up here. Up, up, teleport to me, you idiot. I want your pearl. Yes, give me your pearl. No? Okay. <sighs> well, yeah, I'm back again. I was at the Skeleton Grinder for just a little while. Uh, I got a bunch of levels. I had, like, three stacks of bones. So, I'm doing pretty well. OCD torch placement. And I've got my two Ender Pearls here. And I'm going to get down there. I'm not going to mess up. I'm gonna do well. It's gonna be awesome. Not gonna mess up. Not gonna mess up. Not gonna mess up. Not gonna mess up. Where's it? Am I being shot at? Oh, up there. Yeah, obviously. And I still haven't found the feather boots. I know they're up here. Uh... Oh yeah, this sword has a knockback and spider bane on it. Or Bane of Arthropods. Arthropods. Which I think includes uh, silverfish and squids, actually. Um, I think it includes squids. So... Yes. Did I check? I checked this cubby, I'm sure of it. Because I see, yeah, I've got torches placed. I'm just going to go ahead and take all this stuff. Let's dig with... Uh, I'm gonna dig with an ender pearl. I think I think at some point um, I'm gonna have to enchant a fish to be a very efficient digging tool. Uh, if you watch Cleo's videos, you might get that reference. Okay, I wanted to find. I still want to find the feather boots though before I do the uh, ender pearl thing, just because. And I think it's around here somewhere. I mean, I know it's in here. I know I put one in here. I had to have. And if uh, you're watching right now and you're you're leaving a comment saying, "Oh my God, Vex, you're so stupid!" I know exactly where it is because I've played the map before, and it's right. It's like right over there, and you just can't find it, and you're stupid. 
I, I, I apologize. But, um, yeah, I know some of you know where it is. And... But I don't know where it is. And I'm not going to cheat by... Oh, is it cheating? I mean, I made the map. So, does it really count as cheating if I go open it up in MC Edit and take a look? Or, I mean, I guess I could just start flying or something right now, but I'm not going to do that. Um... And besides, I think it's slightly funny to watch me faff about like a dumbass lost in my own map. Um, <laughs> faff about. Uh, I've been hanging around too many British people. Come get some, Kriba! Speaking of hanging around people, I think I'm at some point going to have to make a... Uh, I watched Zisto's, late, Zisto's latest video. Um, it, was him, it was him being at... Uh, well, no, I'm not going to tell you because that would be spoilers. And will you just die, please? Die, 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 die. It was him doing another needlessly fancy and needlessly complex construction project, which is basically what he does. Um, he's he, he's uh, sometimes... Uh, he's being a Zisto about it, is uh, the term I like to use. If you're being a Zisto about something, you're making it needlessly fancy and complex. But but he uh, he made a giant, a giant, what was it called? Giant dumbass Zisto cavern, out of TNT. So in honor of that, I think the next map I make will have to have a giant dumbass Zisto cavern, or giant Zisto dumbass cavern, or giant dumbass cavern Zisto, giant, uh, some combination of the words giant dumbass Zisto and cavern there. Uh, he's just wandering around looking for these goddamn boots. <laughs> oh, here's where I did the thing. You know what? I think I've been... If I remember correctly, I think I put it in the bookshelves, actually. So, I may have been the entire time been looking... Am I not regenerating health right now? I don't think I am. No, that's kind of... I thought, uh... I thought within... I'm only missing one and a half drumsticks right now. I thought that was regen territory. Oh well. I guess it's not. Oh, I could. Oh, I guess I could try out my uh, my new bow that's enchanted and all that stuff. Cause, ow, what the fuck? I bet a, a skeleton must have fallen off and shot shot me. All right, I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna fight this Enderman up here. Give me your pearl. Yeah, you honk your horn. Ooh, I got a pearl. Yeah, I'm. I'm sorry, Chris. I uh, that it's too funny not to say. So, but uh, Solitary Wolf said that first, just to give credit where credit is due. Um. They sound like a like a robotic pissed off cat. Like if I ever beat a cat to death, oh boy, out! Oh, you must die. <laughs> I just want my feather boots. Where are they? Maybe they're not here. Maybe I've psyched myself out, and maybe like this must be what purgatory feels like. Just running around staircases and on balconies looking for something that isn't there. Wow, that's really depressing. <laughs> okay. Alright, fuck it. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna throw this pearl. Uh, and maybe I'll do it correctly this time and not die. Okay. Alright.
<laughs> okay, so can I reach from here? Yes, I can. Now, pride goeth before the fall, but you know what? I'm just going to be awesome and take all the wool because I am at risk of falling in lava and losing every... every... Okay, considering I just fell in this thing again like I did last time, I'll leave myself one last chance in case I derp up and fall in lava. And... I think it's bright enough in here. Okay. Okay! Thank you for the gunpowder. Alright. Okay. Alright. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Now, where should I aim? Should I... Should I aim... Now, last time, I think what happened is I actually managed to hit a creeper with the pearl. And therefore, the teleportation point was set in midair right beside the creeper. And I promptly fell down and died like a dumbass in lava. So this time, I should not throw it directly at a creeper. Because that got me killed. I should throw it... Hello, skeleton. I should throw it... Oh, I'm nervous. Oh, I got a, I got a fun idea. Why don't I just... Uh... Why don't I just chuck it at an angle so that even if I do hit the side, I'll fall onto this platform. Because falling from that distance while not wearing feather boots is totally safe. And I just thought of that. Alright, well, whatever. What's the worst that could possibly happen? Okay, the skeleton just showed me the worst that could possibly happen. Falling in lava and dying. Alright, enough talk. Time for action. Okay, a little insurance policy, and... Eh, eh, ha! Ha! Wah! Ya! Ya! Ta! <sighs> okay, I made it. Now I just gotta get out of here without, you know, walking off like a dumbass and dying. Oh wait, no, there's still, there's still another wool in here. And I still haven't found the feather boots. And... I still haven't... Yeah, okay, there, there's a lot of stuff I haven't done here. <laughs> oh, I am such a good player. I made a really strong showing, you know? My first episode, I was just I just walked in that dungeon like a boss and just cleared it with no problem, and then... And then this, this dungeon, I just... You know, I've only died once. And, I mean, to be fair, I could have easily just used water and... If I, was, if I was playing this and I was really serious about it, I probably would have just made a water elevator and made it nice and safe. Um, ooh, a slime. That's cool. I didn't know there was a slime chunk. Oh. Oh, hey, that's a, that's a, cool, that's a good thing I can talk about while I um, run back up here. Not knowing when a uh, chunk is a slime chunk and when it will spawn slimes has gotten me in trouble because the little tiny baby ones have spawned inside my trap mechanisms and set them off. And actually, speaking of uh, spawning inside trap mechanisms and setting them off, I, uh... Oh, nice timing. Whoop! Bam! I was, I was actually planning a, a, a special episode where I explain the, uh... the mechanics that go into work in the Rumbling Caverns area, because I wanted to explain those. That's it, right there. That little gap in the bookshelves, right there. That's got to be the little nook where the chest is. So all I need to do is get down there and get my fucking boots. Little bastards. That's all I want is feather boots. I want the feather boots so that I can just get up there and just drop down to there and get the orange wool. Oh. Okay, well, I've already gotten it, so... Hello. So I guess I don't really need them anymore, but I still actually want them because... Oh boy. Whoa! Oh, a diving helmet! That's what it was. Okay, now I'm going crazy. I'm going to have to just look in this area and see if I put those damn boots in here or not, because it's... 
This is this is this is driving me mad. I'm losing my mind in here. Hey, hurt, hurt. I can't get up there. All right. Oh yeah, that was awesome. That was a good. Th Ooh, I was stuck in the wall there. That was kind of cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I almost walked off again. I mean, again, when I say again, I mean not that I walk off intentionally or anything, it's just I get shot off and I've got to get out of here. I'm losing my mind in this place. This this is purgatory. Damn, I am a, I'm a bastard. This place is evil. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's always get fun to get to get lost in a book. To to every LP -er who's done this place without and just gone through the maze, like I had built it and not just, you know, tunneled right through the bookshelves. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Um, while you're free to, you know, use whatever means you can think of to get through the map, uh, sometimes it is kind of depressing to work really hard on an area and then have somebody just come in and, like, tunnel around it and just completely bypass it. Because uh, that kind of that defeats the purpose of... Uh, well, playing the game sometimes. It's like, imagine if every level of Super Mario Brothers was like the second one where it's underground, and you just got on top of the ceiling and ran across, you know, ran across the entire level on top of the ceiling and just bypassed everything. Uh, it's cool to do, and it's, you know, but once the novelty wears off, it's just that, you know, you're, you're just kind of bypassing the game. Um... And especially if you're an LP, I would, I would think that uh, intentionally taking sometimes taking the more riskier option would be more more entertaining to watch, which is why I tried the Interpol thing, and I made it on the second attempt, so that's pretty awesome. <laughs> Hello, creeper. No, don't blow up. Okay, blow up. That's cool. It's kind of hard to argue with somebody who's willing to. You know, just blow themselves up to make a point. Okay, let's see. I mean, you can't introduce, like, rational thought into that situation. And, whoa! Hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, back when, um, back when lava was actually threatening and killed people, this was uh, an effective trap, but, uh... But now that lava is... You know, it's not necessarily deadly. It's just, uh, it's more of a suggestion that you die. It's not really a set rule. Because cause I remember back when video games, uh, you fell in lava and then you just died. It, there wasn't really much debate. Now it's kind of like, you know, falling in lava, it's an optional. It's an optional death. You don't, you don't have to die. You can just wear diamond armor and drink a regen potion and swim in lava. So... Now, I think, well, for one, I want more books, but I also want to salvage the mechanical components out of this trap, because I might use them later for something. I'm not sure. And, yes, yes, give me, ah, yes, yeah, sticky pistol. I have everything? You know what? Um, in the interest of OSHA compliance, I will do that. And for, the, for those who don't know, OSHA is the uh, regulatory agency. I think it's like OSHA Occupational Safety and either Health or Hazard Agency. I don't know. Basically, it's it's the agency that uh, handles safety regulations. Speaking of safety regulations, uh, that spider is a workplace hazard, so he must die. Ah, oh, no, I want potions. Cannot has. Um, don't I have any signs in my inventory for once? Because 
I always, I always get a bunch of signs in my inventory. I don't need any of this crap, and I don't need bones, and... Um... Meh. I don't really need these. And I don't really need the pressure plate, because I can cook stone. But I want these potions, that's what I want. I guess I'll go ahead and take that. Okay, let's head out of here. Hello. Hello again. Oh, that's a dead end. <laughs> Let's see. I think the exit is somewhere over... Meow? Yeah, here we go. So, this has been the Blackened Library. It apparently causes you to... You know, if... If the Feather Boots are in here... And, no, I looted that, I think. Yeah, there's a creeper explosion right there. I must have been down there. If the feather boots are in here, there's probably at least one person in the comments furiously raging about being missing them right now. Uh, so to that person, I would say, -la 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 And, yeah, To the rest of you, I would say uh, I think this wraps up this episode. So until next time, take it take it easy, guys. And yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching.